Ready to go. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're adding a kickstand to our 1970 MTD Trail Flight Mini Bike. The bike originally came with a center stand. Since the thing's 54 years old now, I can't find the correct center stand anywhere, so I decided to go ahead and, and weld a side stand on. So, all you new people out there, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, and we do appreciate it. So, let's get started. Now, I kind of wish we'd done this part before I painted it, but we didn't realize that we weren't going to be able to kick, get a kickstand until later. So, we're going to pick our spot right about here. We'll get our angle right when we weld it. So, let's prep the surface for welding. Believe me, it was harder for me than it was for you seeing all that brand new paint go away. Okay, let's pick our spot. Okay, right about here. Give or take. Okay, now we're ready for the weld. When you're doing this, think about the kickstand in both positions, both down, does it hold the angle that you want on the mini bike? And also up, make sure that, the, that it looks nice and it's lined up correctly. So we're gonna have to be real careful picking our position for this. So let me get geared up. Okay, when you do this, make sure your ground is on nice clean metal and as close to your weld as you can get it without making it part of the actual weld. So we want this to be about here. And we're picking our twist here to make sure it looks nice. And say, oh, we're too far under. Let's scoot the ground up just a little bit. Make sure you're, we're on clean metal. So there and there. Now our carrier around. And we're a little bit above the ground, but we're not leaning very far either. We want our lean to be a little bit bigger than this. So we're going to put two tacks on, make sure we like how it looks, and then we're going to weld it. Okay, that's about right there. That looks good. So let's put a couple of spots on it. Now let's see what she looks like without the tape holding this up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's a pretty good angle. She's not going to fall over easily. Okay, let's scoot you out of the way and finish this up. Okay, a little bit on the over-the-top side, but that's okay. Now we're going to pick it up and do the back side, because we like the way she looks. Okay, we decided it was easier to just drain the fuel and go this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we've got it cleaned up and taped up so we won't get any paint where we don't want it. So let's put a coat of primer on it real quick. Okay, now that when we let that dry, we're going to go get some more red paint. Okay, four or five hours have gone by, so let's turn her red. Okay, now we're going to let that sit for a little while and dry, and then we'll get back to it. Okay, now the paint's dried off pretty good. Let's get all this out of the way. And let's get the kickstand on it and see how she looks. Okay, I'm going to run the pin through the back. The reason we're running the pin through the back is so that it doesn't get tied up in the spring. Okay, let's get the spring on. I think we'll do the bottom one first. Just because it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, bottom one's on. Let's see if we can push this up to the top one and get her to hook. And I know you can't see much, and trust me, I can't see much either doing this. But there we go. So, we have a kickstand. And as you can see, let me go put you there. Through the magic of grinding, the weld looks like it was done perfectly. There's an old saying that a carpenter's best friend is paint, and a welder's best friend is his grinder. Now on this one, of course, the inside, the underneath, came out beautiful, looked really nice. And then when I did the top, it looked really messy. So I went ahead and added a little more across the top and then grinded it down nice and smooth. And it looks professional. It looks like the factory did it. So for all you new people out there, go ahead and subscribe. If you made it this far, you might as well. And we do appreciate it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.